Kenyan, and I come from uh, Kandara constituency in Moranga. Actually, uh, we used to, in Moranga, we, we actually talk about location. I come from Loko 3, location 3 in Moranga. And I went to school in one of the primary schools, Kegwea Primary School, and I finished in 1973, joined Form 1. I was admitted to Form 1, those are the days that uh, you needed to be admitted. So I went to another school, a newly, uh, um, a newly uh, aided school in Moranga, in Gatuli location, Kiabugi Secretary School. That was in 1974 to 1977. I had a first class division that allowed me to be admitted to Kagumo High School perhaps a school of my dreams. That was in 1978. I finished Form 6 in 1979. And in 1980, I came to Nairobi. I came to Nairobi because that was the only university in Kenya then. That is when I joined the University of Nairobi and I was admitted to study bachelor's or Bachelor of Arts. I had a dream to, do, uh, to study economics, so I was in Bachelor of Arts have to do three courses and in the second year you start specializing on the basis of performance so I became what we we used to call then 311 economics and so I ended up uh, graduating in 1984 we are the group that was affected by 1982 coup so it means that we took longer than of, uh, than than uh, the normal three-year degree we lost one year uh, we lost slightly more than one year but uh, it is one year in terms of career thank you chair and in 1984, I graduated in Bachelor of Arts in majoring in economics. In the same year, I was admitted to actually pursue postgraduate economics, uh, uh, postgraduate degree in Masters in Economics, which I finished in 1986. From 1986, uh, it was actually more of research work. And in 1987, I was employed at the University of Nairobi as a tutorial fellow. That's the lowest rank in terms of the teaching, uh, teaching fraternity. It's from, but the, tu uh, the tutorial fellow, you are employed on contract on the basis that you are going to pursue higher education, that is a PhD. So I did that for two years, from 1987 to 1989, and I got a scholarship to study uh, economics at PhD level at the University of Gothenburg in Sweden funded by uh, Sweden, Swedish in International Development Association, that is SEDA, and that was on the contract that we should study economics. Yes. Usually economics, a uh, PhD in economics takes about five years, two years of coursework and three years of, uh, of, of uh, research. But we had a covenant to finish in four years. Of course, it was difficult, but I managed to finish in four years and three months. So I came back to Kenya in 1993, towards the end of 1993, to start teaching again in 1994. I was promoted in 1995 to become a lecturer. In 1997, I was promoted to become a senior lecturer. And in 2001, I became perhaps the youngest professor ever it became an associate professor in 2001. That is the journey in terms of my academia. I've continued to be a researcher. I know my areas of research has been quite macroeconomics. I've trained so many economists in Africa. But then 1999, let me take a small step back. I, had, uh, to, I was recruited uh, to go and help support the establishment of KIPRA. KIPRA is a national think tank. It's the Kenya Institute for Public Policy, and, uh, Policy uh, Research and Analysis. And I was there for two years. I'm res I was responsible for developing the, the first Kenya macro model. And I did develop the Kenya macro model in two, by 2001. After that, I continued with my international assignment. I was employed in 2002 by International Development Research Center of Canada. And uh, again, it was, I became the program specialist in East and Southern Africa. In 2003, I joined the African Economic Research Consortium, a network that actually builds capacity for economists in Africa, and even graduate training. I became director of training. And it was there that I was uh, recruited and appointed governor of the Central Bank in 2007. And I continued and served for eight years 
In fact, Chairman, I became the first governor to serve eight years since the law was established, two terms since the law was established in 1982. So, for me, it was a chance in terms of not only of research, but intellectual leadership, but also policy leadership. After that, I, after the tour of duty, I decided that I needed to take a break. I went to Oxford University for one year in terms of uh, Bravatnik School of Government to, to, to talk more about public policy making. Then in there I was also um, a senior advisor to several organizations, especially the United Nations Capital Development Fund and even Alliance for, uh, for uh, Better Than Cash Alliance. And again, in 20, 2019, I was getting back and back, more and more in, back into research and more into intellectual work. I was headhunted for, again, for African Economic Research Consortium, and I became the executive director. We support public universities in Africa to mount quality degree programs in economics. We have trained economists for the uh, Ministry of Finance for many years, for the last 11 years. We have supported students in this area for many years, but we also provide uh, frontier research in various topical policy, a, 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 a policy, policy issues. Maybe I'll have a chance to talk about some of them. That's where I am, uh, and uh, let me also remind, uh, mention that in the Central Bank, I remember I worked on two very prominent areas. One of them is to reformulate the monetary policy framework for Kenya. I do believe that the framework that I found there, I actually described it as a, an obsolete framework. And the second thing is that I pushed and defended M-Pesa until the fights with the banks until it was concluded and everybody believed that it was a very, very innovative product. Today, the world knows Kenya because of M-Pesa and all other products that have come in that improved the retail electronic payment system and platforms in banks is one of the examples. I stop there, Mr. Chairman, because the history can be long, but let me say I am that young boy who started in location three in Gasharage in Kandara and I'm now sitting here. Thank you very much. Sir, uh, we'll now open